In this video, we will see the weapons used by the Germans during World War II. The SG-42, or in English, the Bayonet Model 1942 is one of the standard bayonets used by the German Army during World War II. These types of bayonets were typically mounted on rifles or infantry weapons and were used in close combat situations. The SG-42 was intended to supplement and later replace the original bayonet of the K-98 service rifle. The production was approved by Adolf Hitler, but this should take place because of the cost of a conversion of production until after the war. The knife contained a detachable toolkit in the handle that individuals could use for rifle maintenance and other tasks. The toolkit included a screwdriver, small knife, awl, and a corkscrew. The protective bracket of the handle served as a cartridge case extractor. The SG-98, which had a blade length of 530 mm 20.9 inches, was actually used as the bayonet for the KAR-98 rifle. The Bodio Model 1889 is a solid-framed, six-shot revolver. The Germans used this Italian-manufactured firearm for a very short period of time. It was a heavy gun weighing 950 grams. The Luger was officially adopted by the Swiss military in 1900, the Imperial German Navy in 1906, and the German Army in 1908. The Luger is well known for its wide use by Germany during World War I and World War II, along with the interwar Weimar Republic. It is a pistol weighing 870 grams that uses 9mm parabellum cartridges and features a blowback design. The Walther P38 is a 9mm semi-automatic pistol weighing 960 grams. As the Luger P8 was expensive to produce, Germany started to look for a replacement as early as 1927, settling on the Walther P38 in 1938. In 1963, the P1, and in the 1970s, the P4 versions were manufactured. It is a semi-automatic pistol produced by the German firearms manufacturer Mauser between 1896 and 1937. What sets the Mauser C96 apart from other firearms are its distinctive features, a fixed barrel and a magazine in front of the trigger, and the ability to attach a stock to its rear end. The capability to attach a stock, its long barrel, and the high muzzle velocity were distinguishing factors that made the Mauser C96 superior to contemporary pistols of that era. The original PP was released in 1929. It was designed for police use and was used by police forces in Europe in the 1930s and later. The most common variant is the Walther PPK, a smaller version of the PP with a shorter grip, barrel and frame, and reduced magazine capacity. It was released in 1931. The PPK saw widespread use. Nazi leader Adolf Hitler committed suicide with his PPK. After the World War II, both the PP and PPK were manufactured outside of Germany by the French firm Mannerhin. The Astra 300 is a Spanish semi-automatic pistol that can be loaded with six or seven cartridges in a stick magazine, depending on the caliber size, 7.65 mm or 9 mm. The Astra 300 was developed in 1922 by the Astra Unceta Company and was first produced in Spain in 1923. This weapon was originally used by the Spanish prison administration in the 1920s. In 1928, the pistol was then used for the first time by the Spanish Navy. During World War II, it was mainly supplied to the German Wehrmacht, which was stationed in France. Between October 1941 and July 1944, a total of about 85,000 copies of the Astra 300 were delivered from neutral Spain to Berlin in Nazi Germany. The SDG-44 was the first successful assault rifle, with features including an intermediate cartridge, controllable automatic fire, a more compact design than a battle rifle with a higher rate of fire, and being designed primarily for hitting targets within a few hundred meters. SDG-44, developed by Nazi Germany in 1944, was the first modern assault rifle. 
It was designed and introduced into service during the mid-World War II period. It had the ability to perform both automatic and semi-automatic firing. It later influenced firearm designs in other countries and is considered the precursor to modern assault rifles. After the war, it served as an inspiration for many countries. MP40 was developed in Nazi Germany and used extensively by the Axis powers during World War II. Designed in 1938 by Heinrich Vollmer with inspiration from its predecessor the MP38, it was heavily used by infantrymen. From 1940 to 1945, an estimated 1.1 million were produced. MP40 was developed in Nazi Germany and used extensively by the Axis powers during World War II. Designed in 1938 by Heinrich Vollmer with inspiration from its predecessor the MP38, it was heavily used by infantrymen. From 1940 to 1945, an estimated 1.1 million were produced. The Ermsey MP is a submachine gun developed and produced in Germany in the late 1930s. This firearm stands out with its lightweight and compact design, and it was commonly used by drivers, tank crews, and other specialized units. It typically uses 9mm parabellum ammunition and operates with a blowback mechanism, thanks to its portability and ease of use. The EMP was preferred in close quarters combat situations. During World War II, this weapon was employed, particularly in the later stages of the war, as a rapidly produced and fielded model. The firearm was produced from 1931 to 1938, with 10,000 units manufactured and exported to Spain, Mexico, China, and Yugoslavia. It was also used domestically by the Nazis. The EMP-44 was initiated for production by Nazi Germany in 1944 and so used during the final stages of the war. It was a favored firearm among tank crews, drivers, and specialized units. Operating with a blowback mechanism, the EMP-44 proved effective in close quarters combat. This firearm was also adopted by security forces in some countries beyond the German army. It is regarded as historically significant and remains a sought-after piece among collectors. The gun was crudely assembled with a stock made of pipes welded together. The wide use of submachine guns by the German armed forces in the Second World War led to a strong dependence on the industrial capacity of arms factories that brought out simplified designs at lower production costs. The MP-18 is a German submachine gun introduced into service in 1918 by the German Army during World War I. Although MP-18 production ended after World War I, it was highly influential on subsequent small arms design. It formed the basis of most submachine guns manufactured between 1920 and 1960. Its concept was well proven in trench fighting. As Germany faced resource shortages in the later stages of the war, there were challenges in developing new firearms. Consequently, designs were influenced by previously manufactured weapons to create new models. The MP3008 emerged during this period. The design of the MP3008 was influenced by the British Sten gun. The Germans adapted this design to their needs, resulting in the development of the MP3008. A focus on simplicity and cost-effectiveness guided its design approach. Production began in 1945, and the weapon so used in the final stages of the war. Carabiner 98K is not actually the first model. Before that, the 98A and 98B were produced. However, their ancestor was a rifle called G98. The design of the Carabiner 98K was developed by making certain modifications to the Gewehr 98 to make it more portable and practical. The Gewehr 98 design featured a longer barrel and generally a longer stock. The Carabiner 98K was a bolt-action rifle that served as the primary infantry rifle for the German army. It was introduced in 1935 and was an improved version of previous models. It was one of the most commonly used rifles by German infantry and it was also used by other units, including snipers and paramilitary organizations. It is estimated that around 15 million units of the Carabiner 98K were produced. 
This rifle was widely manufactured and used during World War II. Similarly, the Gewehr rifle continued to evolve. Gewehr 41 and Gewehr 43 emerged as outcomes of Germany's efforts to develop semi-automatic rifles. The M30 Luftwaffe drilling refers to a German combination gun that was used during World War II by the Luftwaffe, the German Air Force. Drilling refers to a type of firearm that has three barrels, usually with two shotgun barrels, over a rifle barrel. The M30 Luftwaffe drilling was a versatile firearm that combined the capabilities of a shotgun and a rifle, making it useful for various situations. The MD-15 was a German machine gun used during the interwar period and World War II. It served as both an aircraft and infantry machine gun. It had infantry and aircraft variants, providing suppressive fire in ground combat, and serving as a flexible gun in German planes. The MD-15 had different versions for various roles. The infantry version could be used on a bipod and was employed to provide suppressive fire in ground combat. The aircraft version was used as a flexible machine gun in various Luftwaffe aircraft, including bombers. The FG-42 was a German selective fire rifle developed during World War II for use by the German paratroopers. It featured a unique design combining elements of both rifles and light machine guns. Its innovative design aimed to provide paratroopers with a versatile weapon for both close quarters combat and accurate long-range fire. Despite its advanced features, production limitations and complexity hindered widespread use, making the FG-42 a relatively rare and sought-after collector's item today. The MD-42 was a German general-purpose machine gun developed and extensively used during World War II. Renowned for its high rate of fire, reliability, and versatility, the MD-42 was capable of firing up to 1,200 rounds per minute. Its innovative design incorporated features like quick-change barrels to mitigate overheating and enhance sustained fire. The MD-42 was widely used by the German Army in various roles, from infantry support to mounted on vehicles and aircraft. Its impact extended beyond the war, influencing the development of subsequent machine guns. The MD-42, introduced in 1942, was a significant advancement in machine gun technology. Its exceptional rate of fire made it a fearsome weapon on the battlefield, with a distinctive sound that earned it the nickname Hitler's Bus Saw. The MD-81 was a German aircraft machine gun developed during World War II. It was derived from the MD-34 and MD-42 machine guns, and was primarily used as a flexible machine gun in various aircraft of the Luftwaffe. The MD-81 was firing around 1,300 rounds per minute. It was used in various roles, including defensive armament on bombers, reconnaissance planes, and night fighters. The MD-81S design aimed to provide aircraft with reliable firepower and was an essential component of Luftwaffe aircraft armament during the war. The MD-34 was a German general-purpose machine gun developed in the 1930s. It was one of the first modern general-purpose machine guns and was widely used by the German military during World War II. The MD-34 has a high rate of fire, typically around 800 to 900 rounds per minute. It was known for its versatility, being mountable on tripods, vehicles and aircraft, and could serve both as an infantry support weapon and an anti-aircraft gun. The MD-34S design influenced subsequent machine gun development, including its successor, the MD-42. The Panzer Schreck was a German anti-tank rocket launcher used in World War II. It fired an 88mm rocket-propelled grenade designed to penetrate armored vehicles. Operating with a two-person team, it aimed to provide infantry with an effective anti-tank capability. Introduced in 1943, it replaced the Panzerfaust. While effective, it had drawbacks like its weight and backblast. The Panzer Schreck played a role in countering armored vehicles during the later stages of the war. In this video, we have seen the powerful weapons most commonly used by the Germans in World War II. If you would like to see more of these types of videos from us, please don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content.